Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This one we're going to talk about how to roll a ball on your fingers. This is called peacocking. <laughs> okay, hey everyone, welcome to this video. This video is all about how to roll a ball on your fingers like this. Okay, so let's get started. Number one is what are these? Now these are in magic, we call them multiplying billiard balls, where it's kind of a replica of a billiard ball that looks like a billiard ball or a pool ball. The magic illusion is where it multiplies and one becomes two, two becomes three. Again, we're not going to go into methods of that. We're going to talk about a tool that you can use to improve your sleight of hand, which is moving a ball on your fingers. Now, how do you do this thing? So let's start with the first exercise. The first exercise is this. You're going to touch each of your fingers like this, every alternate finger. So you go here, there, this finger touches this, it goes back up there, the middle touches the, the pinky, and then it goes up there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Because what's gonna happen is when the ball is between your thumb and your first finger, it connects, so the middle finger connects with the thumb and lets go. The ring finger touches the first finger here, then takes the ball there, and then the pinky touches the last finger and gets the ball there. Now you can either go this way and backwards, or this way and then forward, okay? So that's moving a ball on your fingers. Now we're gonna go into multiple. One ball is really easy to be honest, but my advice is do two at a time. Also another good point, these balls are like dirt magnets. It attracts so much of hair and dust. So my advice is wash them before you use it. So you maybe wet them and then scrub them with a little dry cloth because otherwise it's just like a magnet. So two hands at the same time. I always teach you that when you're doing coins or pens, rings, or whatever you're flourishing, always use two hands at the same time. But let's go into the multi-ball. That's what a lot of you want to learn because one ball is easy. A lot of you can do that. But when it comes to two and three, that's when it's complicated. So for the second one, so let's start with two. So if we have two on your first, on your fingers like this, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go down like this, connect here. I would advise watch this slowly so you can see what's happening. And then this goes back up with the thumb. So we have two like this and goes back up. And if you want to go reverse, you would take the first one with the thumb, then connect the ring finger there while this is taking this one and this comes down here. So if you watch this really slowly, you'll see what I'm talking about. When you have three, now this is where it gets very tricky. The first thing you would do is just jam these suckers in your finger. You want to hold it like this for a while to just to get your fingers stretched a bit. It's kind of like stretching before doing your exercise or before running. You want to stretch your muscles, so you stretch your fingers like this. Sometimes I'll leave the ball like this in both my hands for a long time. Then we're going to go into the first one. So the thumb connects here. If you watch what I'm doing, you'll see what I mean. Watch the thumb go up here. Takes the first one. The second one comes in here. While you hold the ball with the, th with the middle finger, then the ring finger comes here and then takes it down. I know it's really hard to explain. I, I do apologize for that. But if you watch really slowly, you'll see what I mean. Watch the ball really slowly. I'm going to, I'm going to do this for a while until you see this. As the thumb takes it up, then it takes the next one. You hold that with the middle, then go onto the ring, then go onto the pinky. Now, you gotta do that with both your hands. Now, you don't really need to do this in magic, but it just improves finger dexterity. This is the kind of stuff that I do, so I have to practice this kind of magic. If, if you're a mentalist, I would say, maybe l learn how to remember things. Now, there's a few exercises on that, maybe, I will teach you a few ways to remember items. But this is how to roll these multiplying billiard balls on your fingers. If you enjoyed this video, do give me a like, give me a comment on what you think. I can't stop doing this now. See, it's so addictive. But anyways, have a wonderful time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.